As we bring our third series and second full year of podcasting to a close, we've assembled a library of over 170 diverse role models. As a macro backdrop churns, these dynamic personalities are our touchstones, our human constants throughout the market noise. In Series 5 of 2022, we hear from an industry-leading CIO at a hospital plan about how he navigated the volatility in 2022. We might be, perhaps in this environment, deploying more in private credits to create some of that income protection without taking on duration risk. We might be deploying a little more in asset-backed infrastructure to protect ourselves from the inflationary environments. So we we just have an awful lot on our toes these days. We learn about the unique characteristics of managing money for a charity and how it is different from managing that of a pension fund. So whereas pension funds think about what they need to have at some future point, charities tend to reference themselves by have they maintained a historic value. So it's not defined by the future, it's defined by the past. We peer inside a sovereign wealth fund and hear how managing this must reflect the beating heart of a country's economy. The important lesson for a team managing a sovereign fund is around the need to ensure alignment with government policy, which means the team has got to be willing to go with the flow a little bit and can't be resisting change, but has to accept that the needs of the nation do change through such periods. Sovereign wealth funds often pursue a sustainability agenda, and we hear what traits it takes to do this. I would say patience, stubbornness, a bit of resilience. For a long time, it was kind of chip away and eventually this will happen. Whereas time is of the essence now and urgency of action and ability to execute ideas and bring people with you are probably the key skills that are needed. And optimism, I believe, is a big one. We examine our industry from so many angles, from that of a journalist scribe. I think journalism and reporting is really about gossip, official gossip. So people love those kind of stories. Everybody wants to know who's raising how much money, who's changing jobs. To that of a purveyor of the concept of inclusive capital. The way that we define inclusive capitalism is the first that it creates long-term value that benefits all stakeholders. It produces equitable, measurable, and sustainable growth that empowers others while addressing many of society's needs. Inclusion means inviting returners into the workplace, and we learn about returnships. It is like an internship, but for an experienced hire that hasn't perhaps done that role before. I remember one senior partner saying to me in those first few weeks, never underestimate the value that you bring to us because you've had a different path. At a time when human capital and talent is recognised as our most precious asset, we hear how our guests recommend that we nourish it. In particular, we hear from a former Navy aviator about the importance of working from the bottom up. I learned the importance of not just being top down in style and how you get things done, but really more important is more of a bottom up approach. So I would start every day with a cup of coffee, talking to the maintenance team, what aircraft are ready to go. And as always, we end with words of wisdom. I think the common thing of people who have helped me over the years is I didn't necessarily need their advice. I needed them to believe in me. Dream big, fail fast, and never, ever give up. Because every stage of our journey can be challenging. You have to have real belief in your future potential to keep plowing through all of those no's. So help us bring our 2022 series to a triumphant close by tuning in to hear from our 10 inspiring guests. You can find all of our podcasts on the 50 Faces Hub or on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.